Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We love that creature so much we put it on our nickel. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and their friends over at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Next group for the Stone Road Open. Group three cars, here we go with round number one and we've got another batch of builders from around the world and we are starting to get into some more superstar names that are out there in the diecast racing community and some of the finest builders out there. We've got our first four all lined up for the semifinals. Now let's get up and check out the Stone Road Open Group Three. Vehicles. King Jester from Team King Jester, driving the Jeep Wagoneer. All right, let's bring them on. This is going to be the first of two Jeeps going down here tonight. They are both modified, just like in real life. Apparently, it's one of those things you do when you get a Jeep. You get it, you do stuff to it. Obviously, got a whole bunch of weight inside there and a paint job. Let's see how this one does. Mr. Dark from Team Dubious Diecast driving the Cybertruck. Oh yeah, here we go. Another enemy of the fuel burning community. It's the Cybertruck electric vehicle. Going to be going down in the off-road hardcore action on the stone road. Mr. Dark is going to be taking it for dubious diecast. Should do excellent. Lily the dog from Team Lily's Boneyard driving another Jeep Wagoneer. Here we go with the other Jeep, and we've got Diecast Racing's favorite pooch, Lily the Dog from Lily's Boneyard is going to be taking this what looks to be heavily articulating suspension system. It doesn't really go so much up and down as it does back and forth. See how this one does. James Ironbeard from Team Ironbeard Customs driving an 87 Toyota. All right, folks, here's somebody who definitely got the memo about what to do to go down the stone road. This thing is a monster. It has got some big weight on it. It's got some big wheels on it. It's got some big lift in it. It should be able to rip down the road. And it's the Stone Road, heavy off-road course here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Folks, you've heard this story before. It's 150 centimeters of rocks, curves, and there's a big pile of logs down there. And then there's an extra bonus measure area we're doing now for this whole challenge. One point for crossing the finish line. One point for the longest distance per round. Two points for the fastest time per round, because that's what we're all here about. And each vehicle will get two passes, top two vehicles and points will advance. Right, right, right. Here we go. King Jester is going to be taking the first run down tonight, and it's going to be inside the first of the Jeeps tonight. All right, here he goes. He's down there, and he's giving her. You can see anything winding out. He's getting down under the rocks. Looks like he's going to get buried. As soon as he starts coming into the deep area there, about the 80-centimeter mark, it just sunk and ate those axles up. Looks like you got a lot of weight inside there. Might still have those wheel nubs underneath on that build. We have to check that out after the show. But there it is, 81 centimeters and a DNF so far for King Jester's Stone Road starting out tonight again. Just being a tough monster to climb. Here he goes. He's going down and he's bouncing down the rocks and he's getting some good egg, get bouncing through, throwing around, and it's looking great. And then it just sinks right when you're coming into the deep area there at the end of the rocks and it just ate that jeep 81 centimeters and a dnf for king gesture right right two right here we go we got cyber truck dubious diecast and mr dark gonna ride the lightning down the stone road here he goes all right he's down he's up on top of that it doesn't look like this thing is gonna go the distance he's through the deep stuff it's tail sliding all over the place through the logs no problem and down smacking into a rock that kind of hindered the extra distance point there but he made it through with an 8.90 time which is not bad at all checking out some replays we can get the old top down bottom up cam you see just sliding around getting through the rocks through the deep stuff made it through the logs that launched any anywhere there it is 
bonus distance gets 12 centimeters but you would have got a little bit further if you kept it straight and didn't smoke a rock at the end there anyways igloo replay mr dark handling the stone road on that run nice and bouncy on top of the rocks he's able to power through a lot of that deep stuff it tries to sink but it looks like he's got enough of the bottom of that thing cleared off that he's getting through it went through the logs just tiptoed right over top of that barely disturbed him and probably would have got a couple more centimeters if he didn't hit that rock at the end there but still great run 8.90 time and 12 centimeters Run three. All right, here we go. Diecast Racing's favorite puppy. There's Lily the dog up there at the top. You see the pooch in the window there? It's so cute. All right, here she goes. She's off and staying on top of no. Wait, no. She's up on her lid. Ended up burying it in the rocks there in the deep section. Something just kicked that suspension over and end. Kept traveling upside down. Slid halfway down the track on the roof. And there you can't even see the windows anymore. That's how deep it is. And look at that. That was a crazy rollover. One way and then she shot over the other way 88.5 centimeters is how far she's going to get on that run and we of course got the emergency crews right on there because we're always making sure safety is a big priority here mountain munchkin crew they're doing a great job with the medical team all right here we go checking out the igloo replay on what happened there coming down she starts off good and then just got one big kicker and it kicked the whole vehicle upside down with all of that weight and couldn't get back over on the wheels 88.5 centimeters and a dnf for lily right right four here we go, final run of the night. It's gonna be James Ironbeard and that great, big, huge Toyota. Like his thing is just jacked, lots of weight. And he's gone, he's holding onto it. He's on top of the rocks. That's a beautiful run through the logs and wait. No, no, he's over the line. He makes it, but he rolls it on the line. He gets over the line with a 6.02 time, which is fast, but he ended up rolling it, which is okay for the time, but he's not gonna get much of a distance on that one. Look at that, the thing is actually throwing rock rooster tails coming down the road that was amazing and then he gets on to the final little bit and just rolls it only gets an 8.5 centimeter bonus distance after the line and there they are emergency crews again right on top of that and it just happened to right in front of them so like right there checking out the igloo replay on that fantastic run like it says that thing is shooting rocks in every direction just flying down there he's got it goosed he knows what he's doing and then through the logs got squirrely right at the end because those things are just rather unpredictable and there he is on his side over the line still makes it with a 6.02 time 8.5 centimeter bonus distance so King Gesture gets zero points and 81 centimeters after that DNF. Mr. Dark, two points for getting the longest bonus distance. DNF for Lily the Dog at 88.5 centimeters. And James Ironbeard, 6.02 time, gets the fastest time out of round one. There's a really cool looking M2 Machines Mercury Cougar. That one's gonna show up again soon, I'm sure. Stone Road Open, round one review we had. King Gesture didn't quite make it down past the 80 centimeter mark. We had Mr. Dark made it through in the Cybertruck. Didn't get a real long distance out the end. No, Lily the dog giving it everything she had and ended up rolling it real hard there. And then he had James Ironbeard throwing a roll in there too, but at least he made it over the line. How's it going, everybody? Lance and Lester here, and we're up here with King Gesture and the first of the Wagoneers that just didn't seem to make it down. And as we thought, he doesn't quite have those wheel knobs taken off on the bottom there, and that's not ideal for going down the stone road. Not the same here with Lily the dog, as there's so many modifications to the suspension on this thing. There's lots of weight, and then they've got this rockety, rockety back and forth action here, and the articulation. You got rod going up the middle there. It's all shaved down, so there was definitely thought about racing on the stone road going into this rig. Hopefully, she does better on the next round. Back down to you, boys. Great job by Lance and Lester up there, taking a look at the vehicles that didn't quite make it on the first round, but James Ironbeard is your round one leader so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel there on the main page, and we got some Facebook and some TikTok action going on there as well. But that wraps it up for this episode, folks, from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We'll see you next time.